Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and worship your name. Thank you because you are a mighty God, a great and glorious God, a God that never fails. You've given us your word, you've given us your promise, and we know that your power is here tonight. And I pray that nobody will miss your blessing in Jesus' name. And I'm asking Lord that you touch everybody tonight. Turn every life around tonight. Do something marvelously great in every life tonight. That Lord, your salvation will come to us. Your healing will come to us. Your deliverance will come to us. And the greatness of your power will be manifested in every life. At the end of the meeting, you say, I got something. Confirm it in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. You can sit down. I'm looking at Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. I read some verses at the end. I read some verses at the beginning. And I will read a verse in the middle. We're looking at one, the first part. Second, the middle part. And third, we're looking at the final part. I'm looking at Matthew chapter 11. We're looking at verse 3. And he said unto him, Art thou he that should come? Or do we look for another? A great question. A mighty question. John the Baptist was going through some challenges. And he wanted to know somebody was to come. And he said, Are you the one to come? Or should we look for another? I'll come back to that. I'm looking at verse 12. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the God did take it by force. We move out of that question. And then we come to a mighty statement of Jesus Christ. And now Jesus Christ is saying, You heard John the Baptist. Are you the one to come? Or do we look for another? He answered that question. After he answered the question, he announced to the people, the people who want to have connection with the one that was to come, the, the people who want to have a great mighty anointing, coming from the one that was to come, he said the kingdom of God is here. Because the king of the kingdom is here. The power of the kingdom is here. The honor of the kingdom is here. The glory of the kingdom is here. And so the question that John asked, are you the one? The one that will bring the kingdom. Are you the one? The one that will bring the power. Are you the one? The one that will usher in the glory. Said, of course I am. How can we connect? How can we have the salvation? How can we have the glory? How can we have the power? How can we have all the provision of the kingdom? Ah, he said, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. The people that would defy every hindrance. The people that will not mind whether it is rainy or shiny. The people that will not mind what their mind or their body is telling them. And they said this kingdom the kingdom of power the kingdom of glory the kingdom of solution to every problem I mentioned the kingdom today. Who is the person there? You will enter today. I said you will enter today. And now at the end of the chapter, in verse 28, he said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady, I will give.
give you rest. Hey, are you the one to come? Or do we look for another? Yeah. I don't you see that is one king of the Jews. Here you see. Where is is the one that heals the sea. Here is he. Where is the one that has the power to break every yoke. Here is he. How can we connect with him? The kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. Can I come? Can I take? Can I receive? Can I partake? Can I possess? Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy ladies, and I will give you rest. I want to talk to you tonight. In this message that is that will bring me a to your life. So let us get a miracle there. This message that is going to bring a notion that breaks every yoke in your life. Somebody today will get this miracle. Power will come to the life of somebody there today. What are we talking about? Rest for the restless. Rest for the restless. Come unto me. All ye that labor and a heavy lady. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. And learn of me. For I am meek and lowly. And you shall find rest for your soul. Tonight, you shall find rest unto your soul. I say tonight tonight you will find rest for your soul in Jesus name for my yoke is easy and my body is light those are the words of Jesus Christ first of all a great question are you the one to come or do we look for another should we say now today our problems are solved or do we wait for another day can we link up with heaven today are you the connection are you the messiah are you the Christ are you the supernatural are you the healer are you the deliverer are you the one God spoke about and he said he will send somebody the seed of the woman that will remove the cause from our lives are you the one to come or do we look for another God said he will send someone and that someone will give us the whole truth all the revelation of heaven there will be no error there will be no false doctrine only the truth are you the one that have come said I am the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, no. Are we waiting for another? There's no other savior. There's no other healer. There's no other deliverer. And there's no other possessor and deliverer of the truth. Isaiah said he will be a mighty savior. Isaiah said he will be wonderful. Isaiah said he will be a mighty God. Isaiah said he will open the eyes of the blind. Isaiah said he will make the lame to walk. To walk. Are you the one? Well, or should we look for another? Jeremiah said, Jeremiah, we bear that one that is coming. And you know, he said, Lord, our righteousness. He brings righteousness. He takes our sin away. He takes our righteousness away. The Lord, our righteousness. Are you the one. Or well, you know, should we look for another? Daniel, Daniel said, Daniel, we he is coming. He will put an end to sin. Yo, yo, so he will bring in everlasting righteousness. Yo, yo, do, 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 do. Daniel said, Daniel, we he will be like a stone yo, da, yo, that comes without hand. Yo, wa, like, yo, and it is thrown at a mountain. Yo, yo, the okay. mountain will go to pieces. Yo, 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 yo. Are you the one? Say, well, the one know. that will take the mountain 
mountains of our lives away. That when that stone comes on that mountain, all your mountains will be shattered. All your mountains will flee away. Mountains are going today. I say mountains are vanishing today. God is bringing joy and laughter in your life. I don't say, are you the one? Mountain are you the one? Are you the one, are you the one to take a mountain away? Are you the one to destroy the works of the devil? Are you the one to come? Or do we look for another? I said I am the one. Who gives you the word that brings faith in your heart? That if you have this faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Tonight I come to talk to your mountain. Be removed and be cast into the sea. You know, tonight it will happen. Somebody there said it will happen. The one that Daniel spoke about. That that is the sin that shatters and scatters all mountains from my life. And thou the one to come, or do we look for another? The psalmist said he will set us free. It will be the Lord our shepherd. His hands will be pierced. His feet will be pierced. And then he will redeem us from all iniquity. And John said, the psalmist spoke about this. He said, We should be expecting somebody. He's a redeemer. He's a restorer. He's the one that takes all our sins away. And when he comes into our lives, he redeems us from all iniquity. Is there the one to come, or do we look for another? And Jesus said, Don't look for another. Because I am the one. He has come to you where you are today. You are not looking for any other solution. Solution has come. You are not looking for any other salvation. Salvation has come. You are not looking for another way to heaven. The way has now come. I doubt the one to come. But we look for another. Then the prophet said he would be a king. He will reign from shore to shore, from one to the other. The king is coming. The king is coming. And then the prophet said, the king will ride into Jerusalem. And then the people will build their coats down. And they will say, behold your God. That king to come. The one that will rule and reign. And the one that has been from all eternity and is going to come into our lives, and he will dethrone Satan from our lives. He will dethrone all the paths of darkness away from our lives. Are you the one to come? Should we look for another? He said, I am the one, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's riding into your life today. Today. Riding at your family today. And every other one that tries to control your life. Every demon. Every devil. Every evil spirit. Every power of Satan. That thing will come down from the throne. And Jesus will reign in your life tonight. You see the one to come. Yes, he's the one. The father, the father confirmed that. The father said, This is my beloved son. In whom I am pleased. His words, his miracle confirmed that. He opened the eyes of the blind. He made the lame to walk. He made and this one is saying he made them to be normal. He drove out evil powers from their lives. The father confirmed it. And then his soul confirmed it. His death and resurrection confirmed that. This loving name given among men. Under heaven. I think you can be saved. The only name. The only power. The only provider of salvation. 
they say, but I call Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And now he has come. By what today? He died for you. And maybe you are still asking the question. I am here tonight. Have I come to the final place? Here you are. Miracle is very near. Forgiveness is very near. Salvation is very near. The king has brought the kingdom. Now those who say I don't care what happens today This Jesus will be my king I don't care what opposition may come This Jesus will be my lord This Jesus will be my savior The kingdom of God has arrived The kingdom of righteousness has arrived The kingdom of forgiveness has arrived and the kingdom of love has arrived. The kingdom of power has arrived. And from that John the Baptist time, when he asked that question, all shall now this kingdom of God survive violence. Sin will try to stop you. I'm going to invite you tonight. I say, come to Jesus. I say, come to the Savior. I say, come to the king. I say, come to your healer. I say, come to your redeemer. See, we'll try to stop you. The kingdom of God suffered violence. Wash all that sin aside. Sin will not stop you tonight. Am I talking about somebody there? Sin will not stop you tonight. Religion will try to stop you. Uh, you have your religion. Yeah. What are you going to do with Jesus? Religion cannot give you heaven. Religion cannot give you forgiveness. Religion cannot give you power to overcome. And so, as you are coming to Christ, religion will try to double cross you. Where are you going? Don't you have your religion? Yes, when it says the kingdom of God sovereign violence, and the power will say, religion, get out of my way. I'm going to have righteousness today. Jesus will heal your body. And then that juju you have, that idol you have, will try to hinder you from going to the king that heals. The kingdom of healing. And then he said, you throw that idol away. You throw the talisman away. And you say, today, today, the kingdom of God sovereign violence. And the kingdom of God is open to you tonight. Somebody is coming in. I said somebody is coming in. Will you come in? I want to hear you. Will you come in? Rain will stop you. Religion will stop you. Yes, my dear Lord. Also, they say you come and do some rituals somewhere. Rituals will stop you. When you go watch, that's why the Lord is saying, "Come unto me." That's the one we're expecting. That's our Savior. That's our Lord. That's our Restorer. That's our Redeemer. Come unto me. All ye that labour and are heavy laden. Before I go to that, look at. That Matthew chapter 11. He said unto him, Let thou he that shall come. Or do we look for another? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again these things, those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight. The lame walk. And the lepers are cleansed. And the deaf hear. And the dead are restored. And the poor have the gospel preached unto them. And blessed is he. 
Whosoever shall not be offended in me. Your sin, I am the one. He's the one. I said he's the one. He's a savior. And he's the one that shall come. That God spoke about. He's the one that shall come. That the prophet spoke about. And now that he has come, he has come to Calvary. For you, for and he shed his blood for you. I will say, Come oh, we unto me, all oh, oh, ye that labor oh, and are heavy laden. Yeah, Number one, the condition of the restless, the condition of the restless. Number two, the compassion of the restorer is a restorer, is the one that shall come. It's the one that opens the door of the kingdom and says, don't let anything hinder you. Enter the kingdom today. The compassion of the restorer. Number three, our continuation in restfulness. Our continuation in restfulness. That means we come to him. We enter the kingdom. Somebody will enter today. I said somebody there will enter today. And then we we'll enter. And then we continue. Rest for the rest of your life. Restoration for the rest of your life. Renewal for the rest of your life. Revival for the rest of your life. Rejuvenation for the rest of your life. Our continuation in restfulness. No. The condition of the restless. Did you hear what you said? All oh, ye that labor. All ye that labor. All ye that labor. This is talking about the people who labor in vain. They labor and there's no resource. They work and there are no wages. It's talking about those who are laboring in darkness. They don't have any life. To see what they're looking, what they're looking for. Well, really, mole, not you, you to and because they labor in darkness, and there is no light, to see, mole. they cannot have all the privileges they're looking for. But, 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 it was so, the really. light of the world. Mole, mole, yeah, yeah. You are laboring in darkness. See, all all that labor. But, but, what it says, she come she unto me. And and these are the people that labor in self righteousness. <laughs> See, they're going to get to heaven. Oh, 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 and they labor and labor and labor. Oh, 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 and they do not know how to get to the kingdom of God. Oh, 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 oh. Because the labor is self-righteousness. Oh, 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 oh. See, I'm doing the best I can. Oh, 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 oh. The best you can. Oh, 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 oh. The best you can do. Cannot get to heaven. Heaven oh, 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 oh. is very far. Oh, 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 oh. You can jump the highest you can. I only go. But you go for you cannot go. get there by that. But you go for to you can stretch your hand and stretch your hand. Only no one go good to that. You cannot get to heaven oh. like that. Only you can there. take the ladder of religion. Only yes, I and climb and climb. Go, but see, go. Religion as a ladder cannot take you to heaven. Go, but yes, they can be a castle. They go to heaven. They want to get to heaven by themselves. That's why it's all ye that labor. It is not the best, but by it is. All ye that labor. She said, you cannot get anything that way. But you will come to me. Okay, look at this one. Let me read this to you. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 15. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 15. The labor of the foolish wearies every one of them. The labor of the foolish wearies every one of them. Because he knows not how to go to the city. The labor of religion. The labor in self righteousness. The labor in, I am trying to give money to the beggars. 
that doesn't change your heart that doesn't bring forgiveness that doesn't pay for your debts that doesn't click you up with the almighty God God is holy God is holy are you a righteous I give no money to the beggars who will not cleanse your heart that's why it says those who labor come because those who labor in foolishness they are not there to the city by themselves the people that labor in the flesh they do the work of the flesh fornication adultery and all the pornography and then they think that they will get to the kingdom of God he says the one the people that labor they labor in greed consciousness they labor I want to get this I want to get this satisfaction does not come I want to get more money I want to get more property satisfaction does not come the of the restless and the still restless labor in infidelity I say I don't believe any God if you don't believe in God your conscience will be alright it is saying they believe in God that brings guilty conscience and yet they cannot trust the people that labor in idolatry the sacrifice goat the sacrifice animal the sacrifice money the sacrifice their lives the sacrifice their children to idols and yet the peace doesn't come that's the condition of the restless and you say those who labor you labor in self-righteousness you labor in idolatry you labor in adultery you labor in greed those who labor also in servitude they sell their souls to the devil they say there's too much trouble the devil is Satan is causing me too much trouble if I sell myself to Satan that's okay Satan come and, come and rule my life I sell myself to you as a slave it's not rest welcome the labor in slavery the people who are laboring for the mirage of life they think they see the greener field ahead and they are running and running and running when they get there there's no water they look up again ah, they said the water is in the great beyond they run here they run here they run there they get there again there's no water there's no life there's no peace there's no rest there's no calmness to labor for the mirage of life the people that labor to the people that are heavy laden. Jesus said there's a second category. He says number one, the people that labor. Look at what you've done for so many years. Look at the labor of your life for so many years. And yet you have not got the peace. You have not got the pardon. And you have not got assurance in your soul. All ye that labor. Number two, all ye that are heavy laden. There are people that are heavy laden with guilt. They've done something bad. They've done something evil. All have seen and come short of the glory of God. And that sin is weighing them down. The guilty conscience is weighing them down. They are heavy laden. Heavy laden with anxiety. What will happen tomorrow? What will happen next week? What will happen next month? Anxiety weighs them down. If I do this, do I know I will succeed? I believe that in the past. There's no success. I went down in the past. There's no success. Anxiety. Other people is the load of oppression. They're living in this place. Landlord and tenants and everybody will be oppressing them. 
Abonnez-le à tout le monde. Vous êtes living in their village. Vous êtes dans le village. Les villages of Poston. Ils ont arrivé et ils sont venus à la ville. Ils ont dit que les gens de la ville of Poston. Ils ont dit que les gens de la ville de Poston. Ils ont dit que les gens de la ville de Poston. Ils ont dit que les gens de la ville de Poston. Some of them contemplate suicide. But do you remember? If I kill myself, I'm a murderer. And then I will go to hell. You go from fine pan to fire. Eternal fire. Eternal suffering. The body is still there. It's a heavy load of oppression. It's a heavy load, the heavy lady with the fear of death. It's like death is following after them everywhere. They're afraid. The dream of dying. The sick of dying. They are kind of anxious about dying. It's a heavy load that the devil has given them. So they will not have a free life. And they will not trust. And Jesus said, number one category. The people that labor. Number second, number two category. The people that are heavy lady. Number three, the people that are both laboring and heavy lady at the same time. Can you think of somebody trying to labor? Look at a simple scene of farming. He's trying to weed the, uh, the, the grass. He's trying to plant. And that's a, a heavy load at his back at the same time. Number one, he's doing a fertile work, a work that will fail. He's sleeping in the veil. And he has a heavy load at the back. The people that have a combination of that kind of problem. Those are the people that they labor in vain and they are languishing in poverty. Those are people that are wasted and they are worried. Those are people they are pouring water into a sieve. And uh, as they do, they're laboring and laboring and laboring. And all the water they're pouring is not being retained. They're the first to wake up. They're the last to sleep. And they do that every day. And you cannot see it on their life. They're restless. They're oppressed. They're suffering. And they're sick. And Jesus is saying. I am the one to come. I am not the one to come. Or do we look for another? He said, I am. I have come. The king of the kingdom. The king with power. The king with the open door. The one that has come to give you rest. And he says, come unto me. All ye that labor. And a heavy lady. I will give you rest. Number one, the condition of the restless. Number two, the compassion of the restorer. He has come. The restorer. He has come. The redeemer. He has come. The savior. He has come. He is a healer. He has come. It is the one that will ease your labor. It is the one that will take your body away. All the so heavy lady. The load of guilt on your heart. The load of guilt on your conscience. The Lord of Gil that begs your part. The annual, yearly, perennial accidents in your life. As you are getting out of one problem, you come to another. And you say, what am I going to do now? Jesus will restore peace to your life. And he will cancel all those things away from your life. That's why he is Savior. But he said something. Number one, I call.
Number two, the confession. Ikeji. Ijawo. Number three, the confirmation. Ikata ifase. Number Ikata. one is a call. Ikata o is a call. Come unto me. Only what so done? He said on the way. Only no journey. Why are you coming? No timbo. It will appear there's a lion in the way. Who are the people who are not Says don't worry. Only my picket. I chain that lion. Only my dick. Because here is the door of the kingdom. Between the kingdom and yourself. Only go on. It appears there's a lion in the way. That's what you said. Well, even if I'm going to die, going to Jesus, I will die at the feet of Jesus. That's what you remember. The kingdom of God has arrived. And from the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God has violated. And this door that is open, I am the door. If any man comes in, they will find pasture. They will find pardon. They will find salvation. They will find rest. They will find restoration. And there's a lion in the way. So the lion of the tribe of Judah will crush that lion on the way. They will silence your enemy for you. They will silence the pass of that name. And the what Jesus was talking about. Whatever other religious people will say and don't Care. Whatever any false prophet will say, I don't care. Whatever that sin partner will say, I don't care. I am going to Jesus. Come unto me. Come out of darkness. And come to the light. Come out of your sin. Come to the Savior. Says, come out of this. And come to your deliverer. Says, come out of your captivity. And come to your liberator. Says, come out of your sickness. And come to the healer. Come out of your restlessness. And come to the rock of ages. They bear your weight. And they will support you. And they will sustain you. Number one, the call. And as he calls you today, and he says, come unto me, somebody there, you are coming. I said, you are coming. Salvation is coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. And rest, restoration is coming your way. The confession, the confession, as you come, now just to fold your hand and close your mouth and just be looking at Jesus, you are telling him, him. I am the one that has been laboring. I am the one that is heavy lady. I heard your call. And Lord, I have called. I say, I drop all my load at the feet of Jesus. All my anxiety, all my care. I drop at the feet of Jesus. All my running about to do rituals. I drop at the feet of Jesus. All my labor in faith. All my religion. Go to Jerusalem. Go to Jordan. And go to another place. They say it's a place of religion. I come there. There's no peace. You confess to the Lord. I am the one that is laboring. The foolish that willeth himself. Because he knows not the way to the heavenly city. And as you make that confession. You repent of all your sins. As you make that confession, you forsake all your sins. As you make that confession, you lock the door behind you. You throw the key away. I come out. I lock the door. There's no turning back. I've decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I lock the door behind me. I've decided to find rest in the Savior. No turning back, no turning back. You lock the door behind you. I've decided to drop all rituals. All idolatry. 
boy body shop. Boy friend, girlfriend. Or that be a dance or that be a dance. I lock the door against them. Not turning back, not turning back. Only bad, only bad. One is the call. A coco only place is calling you tonight. All of the healer is calling you tonight. All who sent the allergy, the redeemer is calling you tonight. All of the confession, he gets it. And you make it firm. Was if you make it clear. I come to Jesus, I never turn back. Was so what was on the just go. You hold on to Jesus. You will be my savior. You died for me. You shed your blood for me. I don't care what Satan says. Satan says I'm too bad a sinner to be saved. I hold on to Jesus. I confirm that Christ has said, Whosoever comes to me, I really know why it's cast out. I confirm that I come. I confirm I'm not going to continue with sin. I confirm I'm going to be for the Savior for the rest of my life. I confirm I'm going to be a child of God. I confirm total bye-bye to Satan. Bye-bye to sin. And I give myself completely to him. I confirm that I accept him as my personal Savior. He is mine. He is mine. He is mine. I confirm. I believe his promise. I confirm. I accept his provision. I accept the substitution. He died for me. I confirm. I will not die. I confirm the works of the world that he gave his only begotten son. That is so ever. I confirm that is so ever. Whosoever, whosoever, believers in him, will not perish. I confirm, believe in Jesus tonight. I accept Jesus tonight. I give myself to Jesus tonight. I confirm by faith, I will not perish. Have everlasting life. I confirm that Jesus is all I need. Is my Savior, is my Restorer, is my Healer, is my deliverer, is my all in all, is my king, is my director. I confirm Jesus is all I need. That's what you need to do. And today your life will change. Somebody there said tonight your life will change. The one is the condition of the restless. Number two, the compassion of the Restore. That's the compassion that called us. That's the compassion that accepts us. That's the compassion that forgives us. That's the compassion that says, I set you free. Number three, our continuation in restfulness. Our, our continuation in restfulness. Come on to me. All you that labor and a heavy lady, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek. I am meek and lowly. And they in heart. And you shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy. From today, everything you found difficult to be easy. From today, progress that was difficult. The yoke is easy. From today, life that was difficult will become easy for you. You come to Jesus and it comes to your heart. Everything you have lost will restore to your life. No regrets in your life anymore. No sorrow in your life anymore. Because you come to Christ and you continue with Christ. You know what he said? Our continuation in restfulness. You know what you said? Come unto me. Morning said, come. 
Come for salvation. Come for healing. Come for peace of mind. He says, Come now. He says, Come at once. He says, Come without delay. He says, Don't allow your brain to sink anything. Will you accept me? Will you not accept me? He said, Come confidently. He said, Come with the courage in your heart. Come with assurance that has your coming. He never rejects anyone. Come unto me. That's number one. You should take my yoke upon you. Let me take my yoke upon you. And what is the yoke of companionship? It says the yoke is mine. I bear that yoke. I also put the yoke on you. So that we will walk together throughout the rest of your life. The one that is succeeding and has never failed, he wants to yoke with you and lead you to success. The one that is a mighty conqueror, he never lost any battle. He wants to yoke himself with you. He said, This is my yoke, carrying part of it. Take my yoke. Take my yoke. Take the other side. Let's have a yoke of companionship. I, said, I have come to Jesus. Come unto me. Number two, take my yoke upon you. The yoke of companionship. So that we can conquer together. But tonight you'll continue to conquer. It's the yoke of conformity. The yoke of conformity. As we yoke together, you go where I go. You are conformed unto me. You stay where I stay. Because you yoke unto me. You walk as fast as I walk. Or as slow as I walk. Because we are yoke together. It's a yoke of companionship. And it's a yoke of conformity. That's your life. You are no more conformed to the world. You are no more conformed to the night cloud. You are no more conformed to Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. The yoke of conformity is the yoke of control. The yoke of control. You see, once you are yoked to Jesus Christ, that controls on which road you walk. Because only the road that can take two of you, that's the road you are once you have Jesus Christ, you can only go to a place that you will go. The place you can't go, you can't go because you are yoked together. Because if you try to go and the yoke is still there, the yoke will be hurting your neck. And that's what the Lord is saying. I want to bless your life. I want to be with you every time. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. When you are yoked to the healer, your healing is definite every day. You are, you are yoked to a, a chicken and then it's a conqueror, you'll be conquering every day. Number one, come unto me. Number two, it says, take my yoke upon you. Number three, learn of me. Learn of me. You say, I don't want you to just say, I decide today, and then you never continue with me. Continue. Learn of me. Learn and follow. Learn and follow. You read the word of God. Look at what Christ is saying. I learned that. I listen to that. I love that. I believe that. I accept that. Learn and follow. Learn and fellowship. It is what you to learn about Jesus. That makes you to love Jesus more. That makes you to appreciate him more. That makes you to turn to him more. Learn from me. Learn and follow. Learn and fellowship. 
Learn and find all you need. Learn and find all you need. His promises are numerous. His, his promises are very different, diverse from one to the other. Learn and find all you need for life, all you need for earth, all you need for eternity. Come unto me. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. And then you follow Christ until the end of your life. And then when he comes, it will take you to heaven. Are you there? I said it will take you to heaven. And then that following will continue. You follow him to heaven. That fellowship will continue. You will fellowship with him until heaven. That finding will be eternal. You enter heaven. You are going to find joy on speaking. The beginning is that you take action. Because it says, Come unto me. All ye that labor and a heavy lady, forgiveness is waiting for you. Are you there? I said, Are you there? I can't hear the voice of Richard anymore. Forgiveness is coming your way. Salvation is coming your way. Pardon is coming your way. Restoration is coming your way. You can put a stop to that vain labor tonight. You can put a stop to all that anxiety tonight. You can put a stop to all that fear tonight. Because Jesus Christ will come to you. And Jesus Christ will solve your problem. He will forgive you. He will change your life. He will grant you salvation. But he says, come unto me. Somebody there you are coming. I said somebody there you are coming. You come to the Lord today. You will forgive all your sins. Salvation. This is your day of salvation. It's bowed and I scroll. It's bowed and I scroll. Restlessness will come to an end. Anxiety will come to an end. People will come to an end. You will forgive your sins tonight. If you are coming to Christ tonight, you want him to save you. You want him to forgive your sins. You want him to change your sins. Your life. You want him to write your name in heaven. You want him to bring you and take you to heaven when you die. You want him to forgive and forget and cleanse and blot out every bad thing you have ever said or done. Congratulations tonight. God bless you. You raise up your hand wherever you are. Okay. You raise up your hand. Okay. Jesus, I'm here. On the sides, let's Jesus, I'm here. Okay. Jesus, I'm here. On the side, let Jesus, I'm here. I want you to be my savior tonight. I have had your call. You are calling me, and I am coming. Raise up your hand. That's okay. Can you stand up if you're raising up your hand? Are you raise uh, up your hand, you stand up. Wonderful. God will bless you. God will change your life. He will forgive you. He will give you salvation. Are oh, you there? Stand up there. I said, Lord, I am here. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. You know, when he said come, he expected that you make some movement. And even though the ground is wet, that's it. The kingdom of God suffered violence. And the power will take it by force. This forgiveness will be mine. This salvation will be mine. This pardon will be mine. This redemption is mine. Whatever the ground may look like. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. If you're raising up your hands, are you standing up? The cross will responding to the call of Jesus. Take that step. Come to him now. Keep that place where you are.
I will say anything you have there. Step out and come. God bless you. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome into the kingdom. Welcome to that salvation. Welcome to that forgiveness. What gently, what gently, God understands. God understands. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. He's calling you. Forgiveness. Restlessness will vanish away. I miss him. Anxiety will vanish away. All the passions will vanish away. All the pressure will vanish away. Come to me. He says, Come. He's waiting for you. He came all the way from heaven. He came to forgive you. He came to change your life. He came to turn your life around. He said, I'm sorry you've been suffering for so long. I'm sorry that you have been wasting a way up for so long. I'm sorry there's restlessness here for so long. I could have given you that rest anytime. But tonight, I will still give you. You're welcome. Tonight, I will give you the rest as you come. Come unto him. All you that labor. And a heavy lady. He will give you rest. As you come, close your eyes and tell the Lord on the call. Not you, the confession. Not three, the confirmation. Just close your eyes and tell the Lord, Lord, I confess. I've been laboring. Laboring in the flesh. Laboring in sin. Laboring in fear. Laboring in religion. I didn't have victory. I didn't have victory. I didn't have peace of mind. But now I come. Now I come. Now I come. I believe that you are my savior. I believe that you are my redeemer. I believe that you have invited me. And today I come. Forgive me. I accept that forgiveness. Tell the Lord. I accept that forgiveness. I accept that salvation. He said, I will find rest for my soul. Thank you, Lord. I believe. I accept. It is mine. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's up those hands and let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all our brothers and sisters who have just come. They're coming out of restlessness. Coming out of anxiety. Coming out of their vain labor. Coming out of restless religion. Coming out of their sin. Coming out of their darkness. And they come to Jesus the Savior. Jesus the Restorer. I pray, Lord, according to your promise, forgive them in Jesus' name. Blot out all their transgressions. Wash their hearts clean, O Lord. And today, Lord, let the peace of God come to their hearts. Let your rest come into their hearts. Let assurance of salvation come to their lives right now. Let your spirit be witness in their hearts. Now the children of God. And I told them to come. And they have come. And you will not reject anyone. Thank you Lord for the answer. In Jesus name we pray. The people of God said. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome into the kingdom. Our salvation is yours already. And you keep walking with the Lord. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. Until you get to heaven with him. People of God, they show the people I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
You're wonderful people. You said, nothing will hinder my miracle. You are those people Jesus spoke about. The kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. You are taking something back home. Where is the person there? You are taking deliverance back home. You are taking healing back home. You are taking miracle back home. Those tears are wiped away. Joy has come to your life. Impossibilities will be possible. Forget the past. Your future will be bright. Showers of miracles upon your life, upon your business, upon your family. Where are you? Raise up that hand. You are sick, you lay the other hand on yourself. And then you will check all part of the prayer. You are the carrier of miracle tonight. Are you ready? Father in Jesus. Name. I thank you, Lord, for your people here. People that believe you. People that accept you. People that are holding firm to your promise. People that believe you cannot fail. And you will not fail there. I come, Lord, on their behalf. Solve their problems in Jesus' name. I pray that tonight you be the night of miracle. The, the night of signs and wonders. The night of healing. The night of deliverance. Confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. That no problem is sanity. I command you come out in Jesus' name. Be in the spirit of passion. Come out in Jesus' name. That cross, that yoke, cancel it in their lives in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that that kidney problem will be touched right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, tonight you are healed. Cancer, I command you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis, you will not stay there. I command that tuberculosis be healed in Jesus' name. I will punish away in Jesus' name. I will be healed in Jesus' name. Single cell essence. With all the pain. With all the sickness. With all the agony. Command your system to change. Be healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, you will not remain. I command all that HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray. Those who are dead, touch their ears right now. Those who are dead, touch their tongues right now. Speak out and begin to hear in Jesus' name. Be eyes, blind, eyes, cataract, glaucoma. Come out in Jesus' name. I pray that the bright vision from the Lord will come to you now. Those who are lame, either they are lame or they have stroke, I pray power, creative power will come to you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray that the bright vision from the Lord let there be miraculous provision for them. So I want to I trust in your family. I pray that all that has said you take away tonight in Jesus. Name. Let, some, let everybody receive something here today. Nobody going away empty handed. Healing for you. It was of miracle for you. Deliverance for you. Prosperity for you. Open door for you. Little children for 
the glory. The Lord put this in the desire. Go ahead to everyone right now. Put joy and laughter in every mouth. Put the miracle upon everyone. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Wonderful, wonderful, ah, wonderful. Put this hands together for Jesus. It has happened. It has happened. I said it has happened. Check yourself there. Check yourself there. The miracle is upon your life right there. It will not fail. You cannot miss it. You've got it. Praise the Lord! After marriage, I was looking for a child for a period of eight years. And within that eight years, I can tell you, I went throughout all the corners of Lagos, all the four corners. I, I have finished with uh, Ikeja. They finished with me with all that they can do. Loot, the same thing. UBTH. And then, then I moved ahead with uh, some of the prof to their private uh, clinics. And later, within that period, I went through in vitro fertilization. That time, the vitro fertilization was just coming. And it was very expensive. We spent fortune on uh, seeking for how to get a child. Until the doctor later, normally a woman is not expected to do it more than four times, as at that time, as they told me. But I did more than four times. It was not successful. Then in frustration, we were asking, why was it not for, uh, uh, successful? And then the doctor was telling my husband in my presence that uh, because I was too old. So I felt frustrated and said, well, I'm not going anywhere again. It was then when I now stay at home that our, G, our father in the Lord was holding crusade at Abba. He was physically at Abba. Then we, we were in this uh, Bernard Street. They were showing us the live transmission. In that uh, crusade, I now saw the first day they brought in Different, different kind of problem. But the one that touched me, that moved my faith was one violently madman that they drag in chain to the program. After the prayer of the man of God, the man was healed and he became calm and the old mother was running up and down thanking God for how God healed that man that has been long for a, uh, mad for a long time. So that my faith rose that day. I said, ah, it's uh, an abnormal case for uh, this kind of madman to become normal. Say, if the man of God that prayed this prayer can pray concerning those that are looking for the fruit of the womb today, say, I've gotten my miracle. That day, did not mention the people that are looking for children. The following day, just came and said, praise the Lord. Say, tonight is family night. I said, hey, I've got it. Say, today, any force that is holding me must bow. And truly, when the man of God started praying, I stretched my two hands like this. And then while he was praying, one picture that I saw at the corner of Women's Mirror, where a woman stretched his hand and big hand for God, carry baby in the hand, stretch it towards the woman. I, that picture flashed my mind. I said, yes, God, I am that woman today. And after the prayer, I wanted to clap while others were clapping. That man said, don't throw your baby, don't slap your baby. Don't throw your baby down. Put the child in the womb. And I carry my hand like this. I said, baby, enter the womb. Enter the womb. After that, I started clapping. The man said, you can clap now. I started clapping. Then, when they say, check up, check up for your miracle, it has happened. I just look, I say, praise the Lord. People look at me and say, feel, I say, what is wrong with this woman? Where is your miracle? I say, in nine months' time, you will see my miracle. In nine months' time, you will see. And truly speaking, the thing that surprised me most, me that have looked for child here and there, and they have condemned me. God, faithful God, that night, that, that month, that very month did not pass me. That is how I carry my pregnancy and I have my baby. And if, uh, the, great, the great thing in this is that my child is in this school. This is a well last school. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. More testimony. Praise the Lord. Here stand the family of brother and sister Olawi. I'm from Majakodumi district of Shogule group. I want to thank God because of what the Lord did for our family. We got wedded 2009. And every, the expectation of every family is to have the fruit of the womb. Lo and behold, it was a tug of war. We went to hospital to find out what was really wrong. I remember in the hospital they confirmed that to me, I have low sperm count. 
And for my wife, they said the tube is blocked, is tiny, is this or that. I was put on drugs, and uh, it got to a time that I have these two things that made me to stop the drugs. Number one, the drug was having side effects on me. Number two, most of the money I collect as salary went for the drugs on a monthly basis. I said, I can't continue like this. I trusted the Lord. I could remember vividly, I called my pastor at home. I said, this is the problem. He said, I have low spam can. The, my, the pastor told me at home, he said, have you ever seen low spam can in the Bible? I said, it's true. There's nothing like that. From my wife's side, the doctor told her, you have to prepare for operation. She spoke out and said, when next I'm coming to this hospital, I'm coming for Mantinanta. And to God be the glory, we had a monthly program at DSCC, soaring on eagle's wing. That night, the man of God ministered. And she can tell, I can tell also that something really happened. And she never escaped that month. If it was two months after, we got to know and began to calculate back. Said, ah, something has happened two months ago. And the Lord did it. And the answer to that prayer, pray that night, is the boy you are looking at here. Uh, his name is a big boy. His name is Fulfillment. Adiogo. If I my group pastor have to come and name him Joshua, uh, Joseph. I thank God because five years barrenness disappeared because God touched our life. If I'm here tonight, just rest assured your miracle is on the way.